Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. So last night the storm came through um, in our previous video. If you haven't seen it, there was a tornado in Potosi. Uh, it tracked four miles to the northeast, starting from about a mile out of town. And it crossed our main farm and we got debris about 500 feet from the buildings. So it was really close to us, but thankfully we didn't get hit. However, uh, a couple of our neighbors weren't so lucky. So we were out last night and we didn't really get to see a lot of what was damaged. I mean, you can only see so much in the dark. So we're gonna take the cameras out, the drone out, and do a little bit of flying around. Um, it's pretty windy today. It's We've had like sustained winds of like 23 miles an hour. And um, we're heading north. We're gonna go straight up the highway right now and um, get a farm up here by the substation that they just put up a new cattle shed, a cattle building on. And um, from what I could see last night, it's pretty much, for the most part, gone. So we're gonna drive by that and check it out. And then we're gonna swing back around to Bartles's. And if you guys are interested, there is a GoFundMe set up for Bartles's uh, to help them with the damage. Uh, you can go down into the comment section. I'll have the link pinned down there if you guys wanna donate to that. Uh, just to help them out. But we're going to head north and see where we can find any damage. So you can actually look back and see how it went in a straight line from Bartles's up the highway up here. And uh, there's debris strewn and it went across our farm as well. And there's just stuff laying everywhere. So we're going to come up by this farm first and see what the damage looks like. We're up here by the substation along the highway, and uh, I'm gonna fly the drone up just to kind of get an overview look and uh, see what it looks like behind us. Now, they've done a good job at cleaning up what's there so far, um, but the road going out that direction is still closed. But I'm just gonna fly it up and try to have a closer look. The first farm Hannon and I visited was to the north along Highway 61 in Potosi. And on that farm, there were several trees that were destroyed, as well as a brand new steer shed that had only one wall remaining after the storm. By the time we had gotten there, they made quick work of cleaning up. They had a semi there that they were loading debris into and hauling the building away. So all that was left was the concrete pad that the cattle were left standing on. I flew over to a neighboring farm, and I noticed that there was a barn that was completely flattened from the storm. The barn looked to be rather old, and it's been there for quite some time. But this is near the northern edge of where the proposed solar project is supposed to be. After Hannah and I visited there, we flew south, and we went down to by the Bartles family farm, and I went and flew over their neighbors, which also had several buildings that were destroyed. And they were making progress, cleaning up from the storm, and piling all the debris, but there was still a ways to go. After I flew over their neighbors, I had flown over to Bartles's and I caught the debris path from the tornado. And you can see it go, go off in a straight line, but kind of zigzag across the, country, the countryside, um, which was kind of fascinating to see. So on the first day that I had flown the drone over the Bartles's farm, there was a long way to go yet. Uh, there was a lot of debris left standing around, but they did a good job of cleaning up from the storm in several areas but there was a building by the barn that still needed a lot of cleaning up to do. Bartles has lost, I believe, four to five buildings in this tornado, and one of the sheds that they had lost had a lot of their machinery in it, and their tractors had a lot of damage to them, which I will show here in a little bit. But this is from the first day when we had flown the drone over, the wind was blowing about 20, 25 miles an hour, and it had to fight just to stay up in the air. Now this first shot you see here has a destroyed utility pole that is pretty well mangled and you can see the debris path kind of zigzag across the countryside. We had tin that was past our farm. You can see our farm over on the horizon over there to the left and uh, the debris went on far as the eye can see. However, 
we were con we thought that we were going to have to come through and pick up the, all the brie on our farm, and we were planning on it. It wasn't a big deal to us. Um, however, Bartles has sent over a couple people to pick up the debris, and uh, they had gone by the time I had a chance to go up and thank them for cleaning up because I hadn't expected them to send anybody out to clean up the debris, uh, mostly because of the disaster that they had back at their home farm. Uh, to me, that would take a higher priority, but they did it. They sent people out to clean things up, and uh, we're thankful that they did it. But there's a nice shot of the debris field scattered across the countryside. So in this shot, you can see that the utility poles are either missing or mangled. And they should go right along the road there. And this is the path that the tornado had taken right down Stage Road. Thankfully, no one was harmed in this storm. Bartles' cattle trailer was way up on the hillside, and I guess it was found either on its side or on its top. I'm not totally sure. So overlooking the farm here, you can see that they're cleaning up with several loaders. They're piling debris up. Several of their bins have destroyed roofs and are going to need a lot of work done to them. One of their silos is missing the cap and their lower calf barn, uh, below the dairy barn there, is missing the crown of the roof. Bartles has asked me to come and take a couple pictures from around their farm and this is what I found. It was unfortunate that any farm should have to go through a disaster like this and if you guys are interested in donating, they do have a GoFundMe that someone had set up for them. And I'll put a link down in the comment section if you guys are interested. So as of today, they've made a lot of headway in cleaning up the farm, but they've got a ways to go yet. And I know that they are going to have to do a lot of bouncing around with their cattle. And they hope that they can start milking the cows there again once the utility companies get power back on. But as of today, they are relying on generators to supply power to the house to kind of keep things okay in there as far as like the fridge and stuff. But thankfully, there was a great response from the community, and there were a lot of people there to help. They got a lot cleaned up, they got a lot done. Um, but over time, it's just one of those things where they're gonna have to slowly rebuild. And um, I know that they're very thankful for all the help that they've gotten to help clean up the disaster area on their farm. So anyway, that is a video showing the damage on their farm. It is a terrible, terrible incident, and I don't wish that on anybody. Um, however, with the good response from the community, it's a lot better than it could be. So with that, thanks for watching this video, guys. Be sure to stay tuned as we head into spring. I'll keep you guys posted on if we get any more storms such as this one. It was very, very early in the year for a storm like this. And to me, it's just a little ironic because just two months ago, I had made a video talking about the storms that we get in our area and how I'm kind of surprised that they were proposing a solar project right through what we call Tornado Alley uh, because there have been numerous insurance claims in this area uh, over even the fa past 15, 20 years. And um, I just find it interesting that, ironic I should say, that a storm like this came so early in the year because I can't think of a time where we've gotten a tornado this close to home uh, in my memory or dad's never even mentioned you know getting one or this early as well so with that thanks for watching this video guys be sure to check out all of our other videos be sure to like comment and subscribe and be sure to check us out on facebook instagram twitter and snapchat all how farms work and with that i'll see you next time